So we are the environmental sustainability team. Ian and I are two people. This medical center has like 11,000 employees. So sustainability can't be something that he and I do by ourselves. We are going into departments that have been doing this work for decades at this organization. Uh, they are the experts in their space and we want to make sure that they feel that way, they understand that we're not trying to come in and change what they're doing. So it's really a matter of engaging with them and getting them to a place of, of being advocates and champions for the work internally within their departments. We have a joke that we are a department of two trying to be a department of 10,000. Um, so, so accountability for the things that you have and the waste that you generate is huge to the, to the success of our program at, at Rush. So back in 2020, we were removing people from a building that was going to be demolished and in the process of doing so, literal tons of furniture were left behind in that building. So we saw the, just the sheer volume of usable furniture in that building and then decided to go through as our team and, and post all of it to Reapley so that it could find a new home and not just go to the landfill. We did so in a, in a very fun way so that we could have people come on the site uh, and we would say, instead of a crusty old desk, we would say, charming desk with lots of personality. We had one particular painting that is, it was this like faded, creepy, Victorian children in a garden painting. And I titled it, I think something like, moderately creepy children in a formal garden painting. And uh, someone, it made their whole department laugh and they specifically came to get it and they put it up as like a, like a conversation starter in their unit just because I put a stupid name on the title. It's not just a boring, dusty corner of the internet. This is somewhere that takes and elevates both sustainability and cost avoidance uh, for, for our staff here on campus. It was a lot of work but we pulled a lot of furniture out of that building and, and it helped really sort of catalyze using Reapley on our campus. It's really given people a refocus uh, away from that reactive recycling side of things and more towards a proactive approach to reducing and reusing. Uh, the reuse side of things has really been sparked as a result of us using Reapley across campus. There's a a library assistant named Scotty, when they needed to furnish to stand up a new study space for students, he went to Reapley and saved their unit $2,000 worth of furniture, and he very sustainably furnished a new space for students on campus. There's a lab manager named Kevin who they stood up a new lab on campus, and he just thoughtfully, using Reapley, furnished the whole new lab. He saved his department about $6,000, doing this and, and pulled a whole heck of a lot of furniture out of the landfill by, by using Reapley uh, instead of buying new furniture. And then we also have a rock star administrator in the pharmacy department who, she supports like 200 people on this campus and has single-handedly pulled like 2,000 pounds of furniture out of the landfill and has just given it to people that need it throughout her department. Um, she solves all kinds of problems and plans ahead for who is going to need things and Melissa is the best, I think probably our best reuse champion at Rush. So power users are kind of our bread and butter here at Rush. So they're not only engaged on the platform itself, but they're also engaged uh, within their departments in encouraging folks to join the platform. Nursing professionals are passionate people about taking care of people on the planet. And so having uh, options for them to participate in sustainability, we see as a huge win. Our sustainability initiatives give an avenue for that. We're using Reapley. We are tracking those metrics uh, and we're actually rolling those up to the C-suite for review to show our impact, not only on the environment, but on Russia's bottom line, uh, which is really, really exciting because people can do more, again, than just what they're here to do. Uh, they can be involved in something that's bigger than just their position something that's bigger than just Rush uh, and something that is in fact global in its impact.